All right, well, let's get into this. When the temperature drops, a winter coat isn't the only thing that you need this time of year. Once it's cold outside, you have to have a winter hat. But let's be honest, finding the right one that matches your style and makes us happy with the way it looks can be a challenge. So here to help with some advice on how to pick the right one and some unique options to keep your head warm all season is uh, Oh, who else? Local for style editor John Jordan. Let's give the man a round of applause because his displays are everything too. Well, let's start by talking about the trends. What are you seeing out there, John? Beanies, buckets, berets, baseball caps, and balaclavas. Okay, How's be that for all a... bees everywhere. Yeah. I love it. I love it. So now, how are they being interpreted or reinterpreted for winter? Well, okay. So I think that an easy way to look at it is taking any of the aforementioned and then maybe making it an interesting color okay. or perhaps it has a pattern or, you know, it's just reinterpreted in a different way. Okay, I like that. So how do we get both function and fashion when it comes to hats? Because it's not just about how they look, they have to keep us warm too. Yes. So warmth, you know, bucket hats, mm -hmm. okay, fuzzy interpretation of hat. Um, this is a trick that I do, okay? I have this faux leather one, oh. all right, and I have another one underneath it, and I just wear two, and then oh. I flip it. That's cute, John. So it's that kind of really reversible. Cute. So it's warm, but you know, if it's like a heavy, wet snow, you don't want to ruin a nice wool hat. That's right. Or cashmere. Oh, cashmere. Listen, I'm. I'm not, I bought a cashmere hat on accident, and I love it. Cashmere. You can find inexpensive cashmere okay. online. It's. It is not price prohibitive. Okay, all right. So now you're also big on thinking outside of the box yes. when it comes to styles. Now you suggest the same thing for winter hats. Yeah. So, so should we keep it simple or go all out? The balaclava. Look at how cool this is. It's that like is a cool. hybrid, okay? I like that. We've all seen maybe, um, you know, the, the versions where just your face sticks out, but mm -hmm. I think what makes this particularly chic is the um, the lid on like it, that. and then the zipper detail. See, so when John Jordan comes through, it always has a little extra zhuzh with it because I've never seen one with a zipper like this. And this little brim, I guess, of a mm -hmm. hat is just everything. Very stylish. And it was really inexpensive, too. I love it. All right, now you always okay. have some DIY advice for yeah. anything. Um, okay. So, like, a cowboy hat. Yes. That was not one of the B group. Okay. But, you know, it, this is a basic cowboy hat felt, unisex. Um, you know, man or woman could wear it, add a little bit of feathers, go, go to a craft store and, you know, invest. Or here's like, I think this is really cool. This is just a um, macrame belt and you could put it around and then let the Okay. Tail part, you know, just tie it in the back, okay? Or, but this is like hmm. the coolest thing coming down the runway. Talk to me. Okay. Berets. Yes. Super, super cool. And this is how you wear a beret this season with a veil. That's a lot of drama. I like this. It's a lot of drama, okay? Hello. And so you're taking like an $8 beret. Okay. And these were shown on the runways in Paris. And of course, those versions, you know, designer versions would be hundreds if not thousands of dollars. But this is literally an investment that's under $10. Okay, so if you run into me at Meyer and I have this on, Will you be proud of me? Yeah, be, <laughs> but let me, not everybody's going to get it because I was grocery shopping yesterday in this look. I love it. Just to sort of test it out with the public like I like to do, you know. Yes. And let's just say there were some, you know, grocery carts that were like inadvertently <laughs> rammed into one another and it's, displays fell and, but that's always the goal, right? That is the goal. I like it. And as long as you think it's cool, I'm happy with it. Yeah. <laughs> what do we have over here? Baseball caps, okay? Like a metallic baseball cap or, you know, you could get it, um, a fair aisle panel like this. You could you know, make this cut out fabric and just put it on one mm -hmm. or, okay, don't get too excited. Okay. <laughs> you know, I was going to love this one. Cheetah pattern? Don't stop playing with my life. I love this. Yeah, I, love I thought this. I thought you would. I thought that would be a 
you know, can we can we get uh, EMS in because I think <laughs> Patty's gonna she's getting a little like you know woozy yes, here and a little verklempt. Yeah, <laughs> this is awesome. I love all of these ideas, but I really do want to run into you Just at our Meyer. <laughs> Uh, okay, you shouldn't have said that live and on air because now it will absolutely no. happen. I, I agree. I agree. I love it. John, thank you. These are all great <laughs> ideas. You're awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you. Michelle, over to you. <laughs> the Iowa is always a runway for John Jordan. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Duh. Yeah, exactly. 